Uh, hi everybody, this is the video review for the Thousand Toys or Send Toys uh, collaboration with Glyos uh, to create these guys. Uh, Glyos synths, I think they're, they're dubbed as. Um, yes, yeah, so we got uh, Faden on the left and Gly Ninja on the right there. Um, yeah, first off, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, Thousand Toys or Send Toys, they're um, they make phenomenally poseable action figures. These guys are really, really good. Um, they've, they've had a recent few collaborations with mainstream licenses. Um, the most recent one being Hellboy, who is out soon. Uh, he looks great. Um, I think they're partnering up with um, Capcom to make Devil May Cry figures of Nero and Dante. Um, they've made a figure of Keely from uh, Blame. And their most popular ones are their... Um, Synthetic human figures. Uh, I think that's from Biomecha, but uh, don't quote me on that because I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But yes, uh, these two, uh, Faden and Gly Ninja, as I said, they're really, really good. Um, if we just take a, a closer look at Gly Ninja first, um, as you can see, the painting and sculpt on this guy is really good. Um, one, one thing's a little bit odd is this is a little bit wobbly, it's not really pegged in. But uh, yeah, the posability on these guys, and that's really what Thousand Toys is really known for, is how just posable these guys are. I mean, it's got a uh, ball jointed head, and underneath there we've got two ball joint, one at the waist and one at the chest. So you can really get a deep arc and a crunch. Um, at the shoulder is one ball joint, And like a hinge joint, a swivel at the bicep, double elbow joint, a wrist swivel with a hinge as well, but you can turn that around and get some side to side action on there. Uh, legs, spread that far apart, move forward, double knee joint. Feet have got a forward and back, as well as a side to side swivel. Um, yeah, they're they're really really good. If you want something to super dynamic on the shelf, I would recommend getting some of the Thousand Toy stuff. These guys are a little bit hard to come by now. I think at the moment they're only uh, exclusive on the Glyos website. Um, you might be able to get some from some other retailers. But I'm not sure. These were quite difficult to get hold of here in the uh, the UK. They were purchased at, at ToyCon. Um, but other than that, I'm not aware of any other places that, that sell them. Uh, yep, this is uh, Faden. He's 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 pretty much the same, um, apart from he has this this gun arm. And uh, interesting thing about this, if if you are familiar with Glyos, uh, unfortunately I don't actually have any to hand, but. His gun arm here and Gly Ninja's little pistol are compatible with Glyos joints. So if I just unpeg this, it's like a little ball and socket joint. And they, uh, Glyos have loads of these joints, so you can really make some interesting things if you have a lot of them. But unfortunately, I don't, so I cannot show that off in this video. Um, same articulation for this guy, super poseable. Really, uh, really is something. Um, accessory wise, not a huge amount, um, but what you do get is pretty great. Get another pistol for Gly Ninja there, and these themselves are, as I said, are glass compatible. Oh, it's really quite stiff, there we go. Uh, yeah, so you can, if you've got a lot of these, you can really make some crazy different guns for this guy. Um, he also comes with few extra hands he has another open hand for this side so he can hold the other pistol he has an open hand and a closed fist for this side and Faden he comes with an alternate left arm which actually has a hand so you can just go and plug that in there and he has a um, oh sorry big pun he come, also comes with another open hand on that side um, this guy doesn't, uh, Faden doesn't come with any grabby hands. He comes with two sets of open hands 
and then another set of open hands. These are like slightly more relaxed hands, I guess. But yeah, he doesn't, I mean, you could use those as, as holding hands, I guess, but they, they don't really look like they'd hold any, any weapons at all. Um, but yeah, they're just more for expression really. But as I said, you can get some, some crazy poses out of these guys. They're, um, they're really, really great. As I said, I, I recommend them if you can get, get hold of them. I would really recommend them. Glide Ninja himself really reminds me of, uh, Techno Man or Techno Man Blade. Uh, yeah, they're just really awesome. As I said, still not sure about these collar pieces, but that's a, the, the smallest of nitpicks. And my Faden has a slightly loose right knee, but again, super nitpicky. I know not everybody's ones are going to be like that. So yeah, that's just a quick review this weekend. Um, sorry, it's a bit late. Avengers Endgame is out. Uh, had to go and see that. Um, but yeah, um, keep an eye out for Hellboy Review coming up. He's fast approaching me now from Japan. Uh, but yeah, uh, Sen Toys or Thousand Toys, Glyosynths, uh, Faden and Gly Ninja. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, here's the mini gallery for these guys. Um, just a few, there's an effect part there I use with Faden. Um, that came from a Disney toy box figure of uh, Black Panther. And I've given Gly Ninja a sword here because I thought, his name, he's got Ninja in his name, he's going to need a sword. Um, I don't know why he didn't He didn't come with any. Maybe, mind you, I'm, I'm not a great collector of Gly, so maybe that is explained there. But yeah, uh, again, thanks for watching. See you next time.